I know you understand. But we're not in normal times anymore, and the enemy is not going to make its move. They're making their move with the COVID hoax and the lockdown and the abnormal C being made normal and the new normal and the race riots that are 90% white people, literally funded by Soros and Clinton and Obama, running around, burning, attacking, and then going, oh, gaslighting the public, going, it's insane. The police, the, the, the federal building, when they tried to burn it down, they did something. That's terrorism. They're invoking a revolution against what's left of the federal government which they themselves have built up in control, but now they're in the process of overtaking it and fully conquering it. And of course, they're idiot $10 an hour, $20 an hour morons that are hired to beat up old ladies and stuff and pour paint on their face. They're never going to have any seat at the table and have power, but they've been promised a Marxist revolutionary takeover. And I'll say this, they couldn't get the Hispanics to do this. Some are there, maybe 5%. They couldn't get the blacks to do it. I've been to the events. I've seen thousands of the videos show you. It's 90% white. And I'm not blaming whites because they're bad people, but just the idea that this is black people is totally and completely Democratic Party saying they represent black people, and it's three obese black lesbian women who say they hate men and who say ending the patriarchy and ending nuclear families is what they want. That means ending black people which they've done a pretty good job of. Because <sighs> you kicked dad out of the house. The state is dad, or they'll become a leftist and cut their genitals off. That's their plan. Or the local gangbanger's dad. Black illegitimacy was lower than white illegitimacy in the 30s and 40s. Because under pressure and persecution, blacks clung to Christ and Christianity became strong. Not defending the institutions of oppression, but what makes a diamond is pressure. Within 20 years of the men being turned out of the house, the women paid to have a bunch of kids with no man around, the black neighborhoods were turned into anarchic hellholes. 